Butch Patrick, my boy. Are you on Man Cow with me? You and I, remember? We are on Man Cow? How's it going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first guy in the camera at Monster Bash was Butch Patrick getting on the elevator. And there he goes. That's Butch Patrick going up on the elevator right there. You can see him. That guy up there. There, that's Butch Patrick in the window there. Trying getting away from the rock. He can't hack the rock. And there's Scott Gettle who can hack the rock. He's not afraid of the rock. Oh, the rock rocks. The rock, yeah. yeah. You do, man. And there's Eddie, as in Eddie Wood. My name is Wood. My films are no good. Yeah, My name is Wood. And there is, and there is uh, Robin St. James' wife. Uh, Kathy. 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 No, Kathy. Kathy. I was going to call him by the first name, Kathy. I'm sorry to say. I should have. I couldn't remember. There, there's got Robin St. James, who was in Famous Monsters in the 60s. Oh, oh, and he dug up articles out of the wall of an old house with uh, articles <laughs> with movie clippings for Frankenstein and stuff like that. There were, there were news clippings used for Insulator of the House, and it, there were uh, theater uh, ads for Frankenstein, what, Bride of Frankenstein, Dracula? How to Make a Monster? How to Make a Monster, to make a monster uh, Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. Mostly, some from 1933 and some from 1958. Films from those there. Wow. And you got the house? I had that on 8mm. House of Frames. My mom bought me that for $2.98 at Zaire Department Store. And I, uh, the first one I got was Revenge of the Creature. <laughs> then I just got Kettle filming me. Yeah, yeah, film me. I'm a shameless self-promoter. I need all the video footage I can get. <laughs> Put me on your t next TV show or radio show. He's go. a radio announcer for WHAS Radio in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, used to be. Where my, used to be. Where <laughs> Muhammad Ali That's... came from. There's Paisley Adams. There's Paisley. She's, she's, a, she's all grown up now. She's a big girl. How's it going? Good. She starred in my movies uh, when she was like five, Ooh. three years old. The Adventures of Paisley versus uh, Werewolf and versus the Hand versus the Devil Ant and then Frankenstein stalks and she runs from Frankenstein and Rondo throws a rub and no that was War of the Werewolves you were in yeah. and Rondo throws a rubber rock at my head when I'm the werewolf and knocks me down he goes he goes I he just says how he paid like 20 bucks for your gym shoes I paid 20 dollars for those shoes wow right. anyway so anyway I had Revenge of the Creature. I had Revenge of the Creature first. Then I had um, Ghost, Mummy's Ghost on 8mm, the, the 50 foot one my mom yeah. bought me in Zara Department Store of those 8mm Castle films. Yeah. Yep. Then I got, then she says, about a month later, she says, pick out whichever one you want. I picked Son of Frankenstein. Then she took me about a month later and I picked House of Frankenstein. Yeah. That's the movie I most wanted to see as a kid. But then it was on Creature Features, I saw the whole thing. Yep. But they didn't show enough of the monster. The best part was the end part where he's walking away in the castle holding Boris and the guy puts the flame up to him and he goes, rawr, you know. That's what that scene is from right there. That's, that, that was like the best part of the whole movie. Yeah, he drags him in the swamp. Yep. But that's a cool picture. That, looking at that box art makes you want to buy it. Yeah. yeah. That is a cool looking Frankenstein, man. That's Glenn Strange, my favorite Frankenstein. Monster Bash. Come to the Monster Bash. Tell them the Rock sent you. We're right. it, uh, there's the Gorilla Monster on his bag. That's from Ape, Ape Fan Cinema. Now, this is from Monster Bash two, uh, 2012. Yeah, there's, a, there's Ape, Ape Fan Cinema, Ape Cinema on uh, Facebook, you know. Oh, oh, okay. Ape Suit Cinema. Okay, gotcha. And, um, hey, look at this guy. There's, and this guy, that, you're in my Monster Bash video too. And you got the Gill Man. Look at that Gill Man. That is cool. That, I want a shirt like that. Where'd you get that? What's that? Your Laguna Mountain. Where do you get a shirt like that? How much? 20 bucks? Well, for you, 50. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I want to I pay, pay the $20 price. They those at Walmart. See, oh, cool. That and Frankenstein. This is a Walmart by us. That's where I got my protein powder. I'm going to get that. And they got a Frankenstein. Glenn Strange Frankenstein. It, is it a is is it a Glenn Strange Frankenstein? Uh, no, Carla. It's Carla. Oh, okay. It's oh, okay. okay. Sorry to interrupt you. No, 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 no. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut now. Really? You're so Yeah, yeah. I'm in the, you're in my new Monster Bash, Rock Rocks Monster Bash 2012, and there's a scene with you, man, taking my picture, I think. And there is the artist. There's that guy who draws monster pictures. Malcolm. That's Malcolm. Malcolm in the middle. That's me. Monster, monster shock monster. So how's it going, Mr. Artiste? I gotta aim at this. They stand over this way because the sun's here. Turn around so I can get you. No, no, I want to. Yeah, but people need to know that you're a celebrity. That you draw monsters. So how's it going? How's it hanging? Rock, how you doing? All right, man. What's it like meeting David the Right? There's Ron Adams. All right. Yeah, I just filmed Bush Patrick going on the elevator. 
All He's right. the first guy I met with his camera. That's camp. my favorite scene of his. Yeah. So how's it going? Great. Yeah. How you doing? I got here all the way from the airport for 20 bucks. And this guy drove me in his car for 20 bucks. Wow. Yeah, he used to be a cab driver. I just happened to meet him in the... Well, he's a good guy to get rides yeah. for. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you. Soon. Yeah. So there's Ron Ron Adams. And you're going to the Monster Bash too, aren't you, sir? Absolutely. Having your nice hot Java. Oh, that's that That's that, uh, Amtrak Java, isn't it? Hotel Finest. Oh, that must be good Java. Yeah, so how's it, what's it like meeting David the Rock Nelson? Oh, it's an unparalleled honor. Thank you. Oh, wait, and there is the guy. That is David Peel from Brides of Dracula. What did I do with my, oh, there's my backpacks over there. And that is, that is the Bride of Dracula. That's your wife? Yeah. How you Peggy. doing? Uh, I'm the Bride of David Peel. You're David famous because you're, you're David Peel from Hammer Films' wife. Yeah. That's a great movie. How you doing? You going to Monster Bash too? You're one of the guests, aren't you? I'm Dana Dunnigan. I'm Donnie oh. Dunnigan's wife. Oh, wow. Yeah, your, your uh, husband invented the term Oora in the Marines. That is correct. He's the ultimate Marine. He is the ultimate Marine. Vietnam, he was a colonel, wasn't he? That, he was a major. A major. And, uh, he was going to be a lieutenant colonel, but he resigned his commission in favor of not having to shoot people anymore. So. Uh, I like that. I, I wouldn't, I'm, I'd wet, I didn't have to kill anybody when I was a Marine. It's something to be proud of. Yes. But, but it's something that you have to in war, and I, and I don't blame. So tell me about that. Can I can I videotape that? Is, no, what? Oh uh, yeah. Now what were you saying about um, about not shooting people? I like that. Oh well, Donnie. Um, go, come videotape Donnie about that. And let oh okay, I'll talk about it later. Yeah. But I think that's good. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to kill anybody. Yeah. Hey Veronica, how's it going? Who's that? I'm David the Rock Nelson. Hello, how are you? Yeah, Hi. yeah. I'm nice one of your Facebook you. fiends. Oh, yeah, really? yeah. I, I posted something on your web on your website at Facebook the other day. Uh, I mentioned David Rock Nelson. I'm the guy that makes monster movies. Oh my goodness, what do you know? I met you at Fanex in '94 and in '97, and I met you at Monster Bash I think last year. Good yeah, I'm the one that has the lizard, the horny toad monster, the devil ant. <laughs> you know, and I wiggled that little lizard in front of you, and you said it was horrifying or oh something. Oh my god! I remember. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, the guy who's running the Facebook is Michael Reed. Yeah. He runs your uh, Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed. I, I saw that. So computer, not Sally. Oh yeah, well, that's okay. It, it takes a lot of time to be on the internet. Well, I'll let you do what you're gonna do. All nice right. meeting you again. It's nice to see you. Too. Yeah. God, okay. I like your movies. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Are you related to Charles Horvath? Charles Horvath. Yeah, Charles Horvath. It was in the Werewolf. And he was in Peter Gunn as a gangster. Oh, no. He was the guy at the werewolf, way, the werewolf's first victim, Stephen Rich, 1956, The Werewolf. You look just like Charles Horvath. He was in an episode of Beretta. Oh, yeah, really? he was in Beretta. He's world famous no, or world renowned. No, and you no, made no, it to Beretta. No. You made a big time, brother. Because <laughs> he was like one of Beretta's friends. He, was, he played Charlie. And I saw I said, that guy looks, that's like Charles Horvath, but a lot older. And there's, there's a, is that Froggy? That's the guy from Wolfman Max Chilla Driving. You're in my new Monster Bash video. I mean, everybody. And you're from Haunted Pontiac, too, aren't you? I have, I was involved in Chiller Drive-In. I was Dr. Valentine on Chiller Drive-In in Season 3. I was also the editor of Chiller Drive-In and Nightmare Cinema. I was also Socket to me on Nightmare Cinema. Man, there's Froggy without his frog makeup. Yep. I got you in my new Monster Bash, Rock Rocks Monster Bash 2012, the prehistoric Monster Bash. And that's 6 hours, 16 minutes, and 27 seconds. It's my longest video ever. Oh, that's a, uh, it's a DVD. One. And so, uh, and it's got extra stuff at the end of my dad singing. It's really hilarious. You get it all out there in six hours? Yeah, and, I, and, and it's got me flexing my muscles at the end because I had extra <laughs> footage. And I'm boxing at the camera. And I, and I got in a little wind-up Kong at the end, and I'm going, yeah, Kong, you will get them if they don't come to Monster Bash 2013. You will get them. <laughs> and it's got the wind-up Kong walking at the camera. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I saved all my monster toys from the 60s and 70s. Oh, cool. We'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah, I'll see you. And that, uh, and so anyway, so anyway, and Charles Horvath, you know, you remember him in The Werewolf? Uh, which, which version? The 1956 by Columbia, where Stephen Rich, it's like, uh, it's like a serum turns into a werewolf, but you don't see him get the serum, and you, you are, are, not sermon, I mean uh, serum. <laughs> uh, so at the very beginning, he walks into like a bar, and they say, why, why haven't these t uh, tales died? The tales that say, men turn into wolf. Or men oh, turn into I werewolves. Yeah, that's the one. Is that the, the Sam Katzman one? Yeah, Sam okay, Katzman. That's the one. That's yeah, my that's favorite werewolf. Oh, I love that more than the Wolfman. 
That was the first version I saw when I was a kid after school, 3.30, on the afternoon movie on Channel 2. They used to show Creature from the Black Lagoon, and they showed The Werewolf, and they showed, um, you know, those movies. But Channel 7 had the big show, and they would show the more lower-budget ones. They'd show, like, uh, How to Make a Monster. Oh, and I was a teenage werewolf, which was another cool werewolf. That was another cool. That teenage werewolf's a cool. Michael Ann's world is really cool. And then uh, I was teenage Frankenstein and giant Gila monster and teenage zombies with the late with no Don Sullivan. He's still Don, Don Sullivan. He was for uh, Vidal Sassoon now. He creates colognes and stuff. Yeah, he's doing good. And he's he's making better money than he did acting. Oh, and there he is. There's John Frick. There's the Frick brothers. And there's Ursula Adams. Hey, how's it going? There's a wife of Rondo, and she's got uh, the monster bed. And there is Frick. Hey, how's it going, man? Good. You came from Baltimore? Okay. Have you been catching any aliens lately? Any Mothmen out there? We tried. We're, look, we're yeah, looking, but we haven't found them. Paranormal investigators. Okay, I'll see you. Yeah, maybe they'll find the Blair Witch someday. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'll videotape. There, there she is, the, the daughter of Elvis Pelvis. House of Blues. i got to get the back of your shirt. House of Blues, Chicago. That used to be the Marina Towers, man. They had a good hotel. You can turn around now Our, on a mission from God. There he is. There's oh, Elvis. Man. Elvis oh, lives. Yeah. Or actually, um, who's the guy uh, who sang with, uh, who's the guy, let me see, you got your blue suede shoes on? Sorry. Yeah, so blue suede shoes. Let me see that yeah, shirt. Blue suede shoes. So I want to say something, now yeah. you look like that singer, that guy, that country singer, um, the guy who died with the glasses, yeah, black hair. Or, 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 Ray Roy Orbison. Roy, Roy Orbison. That's Roy Orbison's incarnate yeah, uh, yeah. double. I'm back. He's back and he rocks. And oh, there's the guy that takes monster hey, picture hey, with a wolf creature. Wolf man. The see that. Pool creature. That wolf man is cool. Yes, That's right. You got attacked in my sea monster movie. Hey, we'll see you later, Elvis. All right, later. Elvis, yeah. there's the bodybuilder. Flex those guns. Let me see. I'm jealous of your body. I do the side bicep pose. The side. Yo, and yeah. Yeah, you're, you're getting cut up. You're bulking up. And there's this white body. But how's it going? They are in great shape. So you're competing in any bodybuilding co contests lately? Uh, you're just working out hard. Yeah, just you guys look in great shape. I'll see you later, Dave. Yeah, I haven't done any competitions or contests. Just work out hard. And what's your name? Stay fit. Mike. You know, you're the first guy I saw yeah. that I recognized when we drove up. Yo, and yeah, I got that yeah. right for 20 yeah. bucks. A guy at the airport, he was a taxi driver, yeah. not anymore. Yeah. And I said, could you take me to the... I just happened to meet him. Could you drive me? I'll pay you 20 bucks. So he drove me all the way from the airport to here. 20 bucks. Yeah. And there is some of the guys from the bash. How's it going? Uh, I'll let you do your thing. Have fun. So how's it going? How's it going, what's it, what's it like meeting David the Rock Nelson? It's awesome, dude. I'm yeah. telling you. Thanks. Best. Yeah, thank you. I got my new Rock Rocks Monster Bash 2012. It's 6 hours, 16 minutes, and 29 seconds long. All righty. And I don't know I don't know if you're in it or not, but it, it's from last year. You got Devil Ant. Uh, I have one Devil Ant with me. You want it on DVD? How much is it? 20 stinging bucks. 20 bucks. Okay, uh, um, what's your I'm name? I'm going to think about it. Okay, later, because i got to dig it out of my bag first. I, right. I haven't gotten I'll my room yet. I'll okay. really think about it, because yeah. I know I'm on that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'll, auto it's, I'll autograph it for you. In fact, it's already autographed, I think. All right. So, thank you, man. All right. I'll see you. I want to get some of that hotel coffee there, Mr. Charles Horvath's double. So, what did you think about The Werewolf? Isn't that a cool movie? You know what? When I saw it on VHS, mm -hmm. it it didn't grab me. But when I saw it on DVD, the DVD print, yeah. then I was taken with it. Widescreen makes such a, you know, all the difference in the world. Yeah. yeah Thanks. Like, yeah, I used to watch it on TV. I still, I still got the video. I just watched the video over and over. I taped it with my old, It's special because I taped it on my, my girlfriend's... Uh, VCR. I set her timer. She'd say, come over here and fix my VCR. I can't watch movies. I'd go, well, Versa, you got to leave it so it will tape it because I need, well, you got to fix this so I can't watch TV because I had the timer set. She didn't know how to untime it, which I'm glad because if she'd done that, I wouldn't have it on video. And then Frankenstein's daughter was on later that night, which I got. So she had to watch on her other TV downstairs, you know, so... But good th she would let me watch stuff on cable, and she would always feed me, and I could watch whatever. I Once I got there, I, could watch, I got TV all night. And, and uh, that was my former girlfriend. Man, I had a good time with her. She was from Jamaica. She was a dang good cook. She good soul food, brother. Big piece of comb, homemade yeah. cornbread with a lot of butter on it. Red beans and rice and neck bones and uh, mustard greens or collard greens. Man, and she'd bring me up this big tray of food. I gained five pounds from one meal. My friend says, was that five pounds of muscle or five pounds of fat? 
my friend Greg Oziasmek. He's the one that named me The Rock. He was my boxing instructor. He's the one that named me The Rock in 1989 over breakfast, way before Dwayne The Rock Johnson was known, before we knew about him. So I was named The Rock before. So McMahon owes me money from, from, from wrestling, uh, WWF. McMahon, you owe me because you stole my name and you gave it to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. But <laughs> just kidding. I like Dwayne Rock Johnson. He he's bigger than me. He could kick my butt. Okay. Wait. So what happened to your girlfriend? It was so great. Oh yeah. Well, she can't come all the way down here. But I want to say, oh, Versi. Well, she died in 1995. I just keep an eye on my bag there. 1995. And uh, nobody can move that. It weighs five. She died on my new girlfriend's birthday, Janet's birthday. Then I take her. I take her out like once a week. We go out for breakfast. Bacon. She always gets bacon and eggs because that we, so, we go to this breakfast place. She always loves to get her bacon and eggs because so she, she doesn't have bread. eggs that often. So <laughs> when I go there, she goes, I said, what do you have? She has the two, two, two. I go, bacon and eggs, you know, with the over easy eggs and hash browns. And we get the same thing. That I love the I love, Sherway Leonard's favorite breakfast is bacon and eggs. Same breakfast. So well, what she were you going to say? She Sorry. She cook for you, huh? No, she doesn't cook. cook. I, I take her. I cook for her. So I you, cook you, on my George Foreman grill, and I her, and uh, I bring burgers when we go to the movies. I sneak in. They put them in her purse, and we eat burgers during the movies at the at the mall, mm -hmm. Gulf Mill Mall, and we sneak Ooh, in our good. Java. So we, yeah, and we buy it at Java and McDonald's and put the lid on. I put a plastic bag over it so they don't spill, and I, I, I put them in her bag very carefully so they're pointing up and they won't spill. Well, and we go in there, you, and, we're and, I, and, I get an, and then I get a refill, and then I put one of the refills in her, in her transportable cup, and I got one of those now so they don't spill. So we get, the re the, we get one free refill, so we got four cups of Java to last us during a movie, two Smoke for each. And, and we have burgers that I cooked on my George Foreman grill, George Foreman. <laughs> Or else I get, them at, I get a double burger at McD's and uh, we, we munch out during the movie. I bring like, yeah, I bring like some chips or some can, candy bar. Not too much candy, but I, I bring, we share a candy bar. You well, know. What'd you have for breakfast? We don't need a reel out of that. Hey, how's it going? There's Joe, there's Joe Cole Jr. who helped me with my, digit, my pocket camera. This is a new one I got. I got this oh, a new one. Like but he helped, me, uh, he helped me uh, show me how to use my pocket camera. Thank so you. Where's this you're going to be on YouTube. This is already 16 minutes and 55 seconds. I got everybody in this day. It's lo my longest video ever. So how's it, what's it like meeting David the Rock? Well, the first time I was a little, uh, a little intimidated. You know, uh, the devil ant had to make an appearance. Uh, he might make an appearance just a little bit later. But uh, I'm going to name it over here because there's less silhouette. Turn around this way. Yeah, oh. that's oh, better. Perfect. It's better. Can you see me now? Yeah, this is better. All right. And then throughout the years, I... Uh, I got to know The Rock, the, the one and only David The Rock Nelson. That's the only rock there is. That's me. The hey, that's was. me. He's talking about me. And hey. the only rock that will be David The Rock Nelson. Yeah. I got to get the word. Okay, I'll see you. Sarah. Have fun, man. All right. So what were you? Oh, hey, thank you. I got a mellow cup. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Munchies. Mellow cups, man. I got a free mellow cup. It's worth coming to Moscow just to get a free mellow cup from Joe Cole Jr. Like Lon Chaney Jr. is Joe Cole Jr. Yeah, and Joe Cole Sr. Movies. He's in my monster. They're in my monster movies. Joe Cole Sr. is in my monster movies too. Yeah. Him, Sr. and Jr. are in my movies. So I made them world famous and world renowned. I, 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 I gave them their boot in the Hollywood or Hollywood. And uh, I made them world famous and world renowned. Now they are immortalized in David Rock Nelson's monster movies. Yeah. And, they, and their movies will be shown for all eternity. In my monster movies. And there's the guy from Monster Bash. It looks like the Hulk hands it's fighting the fakers. How's it going, it's buddy? Rock. Yeah, it's the rock. It's and rock. You, are, you, are, you are Paul Nimtern. Let's see I see you on Facebook. You got yes. biceps, man. You're pumping that iron. You're I'm, a power I'm lifter. a mailman. I, 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 when yeah. I'm not on vacation, I'm a mailman. And I'm always uh, I'm always carrying loads of boxes and mail all over the place. So, yeah. I, I, so I, you're a power lifter. You're like, you're like Paul, uh, the guy that used to, what's his name? Paul what's yeah. Paul Anderson from the Olympics. Oh, yeah. So and there's some of Gould. No, that's, no, that's Seven Scarpino. Shh. No, no, we don't He's know. Son of Ghoul is, is heavier than you. You no, lost no, weight. No, 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 I was going to say, you are Kevin Scarpino. You know Son of Ghoul. You, I know him. You know who he is. Is he around here? Um, they told me he's lurking about. Oh, wow. You were at my house, man. You were at my house I was when actually, my mom and dad were there. I was actually in the rock basement. You were in my dungeon, a basement of bloody horror, and, and you met Mom Rock. I did. Yeah, and you met that's Harriet Nelson, the influence it, from Ozzy and Harriet. No, that's a different Harriet. In fact, I talked Mom Rock into letting us come in. Why? And you, did you meet my dad, Dad no, Rock? No, he wasn't there. Oh, okay. You didn't meet my daddy, but you met my mummy. I did. 
Uh, yeah, she passed away two years ago. Sorry to tell you. Sorry, yeah. sorry did you know that? She probably didn't know that. My dad died two weeks. You did. Yeah, my dad died two weeks ago. Oh really? Ninety-five. And he's the one that took me to see the mummy when I was five years old at Park Ridge Pickwick Theater. Park Ridge. And that's, I had to beg him front of the theater. I said, Dad, Dad, on my hands and knees, I'm, I'm begging him. I said, I said, Dad, Dad, I want to see the mummy. Dad, Dad, please, I want to see the mummy. And then, um, so he reaches down. And he says, All right, David, if it means that much to you. And I ran in, and I ran in there before he changed his mind. And for five cents, my dad paid. I was five years old. It cost five cents in spring of '62 at a Saturday matinee. I saw Christopher Lee in the Mummy by you know, Hammer Films. It. It was a great movie, great music, everything. So, you know, and 31 years later after that, I put my dad in my own mummy movie. He, he didn't buy me a movie camera to make monster movies. I said, Dad, can I have a movie camera? I want that camera in the window. I want to make monster movies. He says, no, I don't think so, David. That's a little too expensive. But with my first paycheck in the Marines in Subic Bay, Philippines, I bought a movie camera, and I, and I put him in my own mummy movie 31 years later, shot on video in my backyard and in my house. So 31 years after my dad let me, reluctantly let me see the mummy, 31 years later I put him in my own mummy movie, Mummy AD 1993. And, and, and they showed that on TV on the Daily Show on WGN, Fox thing in the morning, oh. John Stewart show. Okay, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, I got a show. I got a I'm going to tell them. I need, you know, some, you know, it's one good thing. I need a it's drink. A, it's a good thing your dad didn't leave you in the theater. Yeah, that's right. Good th yeah, but that'd be a cool place to camp out, just watch movies. But they show cruddy movies there now. They show all these new movies that, that suck. Lollipops, that is. These new movies that suck. You wonder why places like Blockbuster Video are going out of business because all these new movies suck. That's right. That's right. They got to make they got to make movies like like me and like the other guys from today that like to make monster con monster movies, but put a little humor in there. But the old movies were better. You know, the old classics. That's why we're here. We That's like right. the older movies. They're, they, and there's, I'll see you, brother. Okay. Take care. And there, there's a shot. I see the shirt. That I says did. Mothman. The Mothman. Like that song. Yeah, that, that movie with um, Richard Gere. Mothman Prophecies. The Mothman Prophecies. That's good. I saw that at Brew and Beer at the Vic where you could drink beer during a movie. Like 50 cent beers. You're watching The Mothman. Uh, that music goes, The Mothman, or whatever. Um, anyway, I'll let you go. Yeah. Hey, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, man. Shake your hands with member of the uh, paranormal team that searches Frick for uh, yeah the Frick brothers they're paranormal investigators like like uh, I'll see you have fun yeah hey how's it going man going yeah I like great. that shirt there's the shock monster there he is so how's it have you met David the Rock Nelson before many times sir. oh yeah so what do you think of David the Rock Nelson a sex symbol oh thank you yeah <laughs> what's it like being in my movies I'll Better than sex, huh? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes one guy said, so what, what, do you, what do you think of, what's it like meeting Dave Rock Nelson? Is this your girlfriend? Uh, my what, wife. Yeah. Your wife? What's it like meeting David the Rock Nelson? Surreal. Thank you. You're welcome. Indescribable. Yeah, thank you. That's what they say on the website, the indescribable David Rock Nelson. Hey, I'll be on stage sometime during the weekend. I don't know when, but I get up there talking. Oh, I've seen you. Uh, okay, I'll see you. All Have right, fun, man. Thanks. Yeah. David. Oh, and here is, I'm meeting everybody, and there they are, the, the Smoot, the Smootopia, Phil Smoot and his son, a son of Smoot. That sounds like a good name for a horror movie, like Son of Werewolf, Son of Smoot. So, uh, how's it going? Good, good. Right. Hey, you got your, uh, the Misfits, open it, let me see the Misfits, yeah. open it up, I want to see that. The Misfits, oh, that's cool. That's the Crimson Ghost, I saw that on TV. <laughs> Yeah, the episode. how's it going, Mr. Phil Smoot? It's going well. How are you? Great, man. You got your camera, as always. Oh, yeah. He's taking a lot of good pictures of me, man. You got pictures of me getting my 40 award last year? I was it here last year. Oh, I got it on video. And I've got, where's, there's my, there's my sea bag. I, 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 like, I must weigh about 70 pounds now. I got so much junk in there. Did you but just arrive? I got my new DVD, Rock Rocks Monster Bash 2012, and it's got me getting my 40 award. I wanted to put that on the cover, but I... I already had the cover filled up. There just wasn't room for it. Yeah. And there is Robert Dix from Frankenstein's Daughter, Detective Dillon. I like when, like when uh, John Ash says, Detective Dillon, Detective Dillon, and then the monster comes down, and uh, what's her name is screaming, what's her name, uh, hey, you know. Sandra Knight. Sandra Knight. Sandra Knight. Yeah, she was in a lot of movies back in the 60s. So how's it going, Mr. Robert Dix? Wow. Sandra Knight. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks. Wow. So how's and this is your wife? <laughs> How you doing? This is my wife. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm David the Rock Nelson. I'm the guy that makes monster movies. Okay. I, I I had my devil ant and giant horny toad lizard attack him in the hallway. 
So what was it like uh, being in my movies? I know you didn't make anything, I'm sorry. It's a really no budget movie. Well, uh, you know, the mail slower we live. We were out in the boondocks, you know, the Pony Express. It takes a long time for the residuals to get. Yeah, I know. I just, this is such an ultra low budget. I didn't, nobody pays me to make them, but I just, I try to get anybody I can. When I get them for free at the Monster Bash, I can just film for free. They let me film yeah. people. Hey, it's all fun. But, uh, nice seeing you. take care. Yeah, thanks, you thanks a lot for being in that scene with me for the movie. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Sit here. Thanks. Right, no, get next to it. Okay, I'm gonna. Let's see both of you shirts. And there's. Yeah. <laughs> and there's Mr. Smooth taking our picture. Let me see if I gotta get my hair. One more. Okay. Did I look good? Yes, sir. That All right. Good. Cool. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be world famous and world renowned. And just like Dr. Frankenstein said, Basil Rathbone, and that would vindicate my father. And his name would be enshrined among the immortals. So your name and my name will be enshrined among the immortals, just like Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah. Hey, do me one more. Monsters. Yeah. Let me see your oh. shirt. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, let's see the whole shirt. Let's see the whole okay, and I'm going to videotape him taking our picture here. Mellow cup. I get the mellow cup in there. You need a bar. You got a free. Bar. It's you worth coming here just for. Bar. Yeah, a free mellow cup. It's worth going all the way here just to get a free mellow cup. Now we have to wait. Till and there's Scott the Kettle again. Oh yes, it he's is. there again. What do you yes. have to say? What do you want to tell tell us? Formerly of WHAS Radio, but now at WQXE Radio. Louisville, Kentucky. Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Wow. Yeah, but that's okay. I want to be on your show. I was at WHAS for be, 21 years, so I can see. You are a veteran. Elizabethtown is right near Fort Knox. Oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. That's the brother of Alan Gettle. Uh, Elizabeth Town is just like, I'll uh, see like quite an hour 